Help the other ones if they are in need. Can I ask a, I ask a question? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, do you, do you believe Jesus is God or sent by God? He's the Son of God. Okay, so you don't believe he was God? In Christianity, there are three it's Holy Spirit, Son of God, and God. Okay. That's the dogma of Christianity. Uh, the, the, the Trinity? Trinity. And do you, you believe in the Trinity? I do believe, yes. Okay. Like you have your own gene, like our Holy, our Holy Spirit is your gene. Who, who told you that? <laughs> Well, no, no, that, no, that's, no, that's not what we're doing. No, not Jean, but you have as the, well. The angel Gabriel. The I angel Gabriel. You have some, some things that yeah. are similar. But, you, but so you think Jesus was part of God then? Yes, he was sent by God, yes. Do you, do you think that the Trinity is mentioned and taught in the Bible? I think there is mention about it, but of course I read the Bible sometimes, I'm not reading every day. But there is New Testament and Old Testament. Okay. You know, the, the Trinity, what it teaches is uh, God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, all these three are co-equal and co-eternal. So each of them are fully God, but they're not each other. So the Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is not the Father. But all three of them are individually, or all of them are fully God. So they say one nature and three persons. I would say that Jesus never taught this. Jesus, according to the Bible, according to the Quran, is very clear. Jesus is not God, and Jesus worshipped one God. But according to the Bible as well, Jesus, he said he was sent by God. He said he, he used to worship God. Jesus said, I have been given authority by the Father. He said that of, of my own self, I cannot do anything. So when someone says I've been given authority by someone else, this cannot be God. God should have full authority at all times. Well, it was a problematic time that time. It was a problem with Jewish, was the, the, the history, if you look at it, it was Israel, again it happened in Israel. Yeah. A lot of things, there were people in the Old Testament believing once Jesus died and it came the New Testament. Uh -huh. The Roman Empire said, which is the most powerful religion, they say Christianity and they proclaim the, uh, Christianity as the Roman Empire. It's all strategic moves. So based on your regions and where the areas are, you yeah. can understand how the religion spread out and then some parts believed in Christianity, area of Middle East, yeah. the Muslim Islam, because yeah. Islam was uh, that area, so it was difficult for Europeans to come in contact with uh, Mohammed, I will just tell you, it's all yeah, yeah, strategic yeah. moves. But in the end, like you say, everything is from one thing, they all uh, believe in God, yeah. it, besides that the uh, Jews believe that uh, is, is, uh, Jesus didn't come, they still wait for him. But if you don't mind, so, it, the, I, I, I think you made a mistake because when you say the Christian world, the Christian world at that time, at the time of the, the coming of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, Syria was Christian, Correct. Correct. Uh, Palestine was Christian, Lebanon was Christian, Egypt was Christian, the whole of North Africa was Christian. Yeah. So, but little, you see, very yeah, yeah. little, but, little. But Islam, Saudi Arabia was Islam, yeah. yeah. No, Saudi Arabia was idol worshippers. Most, most of the people, they believed, they said they believed in one God, Allah, but they had many other gods which they said, these gods, we have to worship them to get to the, the main God. Uh, but they, and they said they believed in Abraham, but they were idol worshippers. So the message of Islam, within a very short space of time, it conquered all these Christian countries and the majority of the Christians had embraced Islam. Whoever wished to remain a Christian was able. That's why in, in all these countries I mentioned, you'll still find churches, you'll still find Christians. But the majority of the people, they embraced Islam. So the, the idea that you you have to follow the religion of where you're born or your culture. True, it's not true. But yeah, there are some things which is dogmatic, let's say, it's based yeah. on your family, like saying yeah, you course. were born in a Muslim family, if you're born in a yes, Christian yes, family, yes, 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 I agree. If you are born as Jewish, you can't do anything, you are Jewish, and that's it. Yes. You understand what I mean? But the thing is... You can still see and understand the other thing, but this is who you are. You Isn't remind it? me, there's a, a narration from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He said that every child is born in a natural state, in a natural state to recognize one God. Then his family will make him Christian or Jew or a fire worshipper. So the point being, we are affected by our environment and our families. But the core belief is inside of us that God is one. So I would say even if someone is born in a, in a Christian family, a Christian society, when they're told at the Trinity, and when they're told that Jesus is God, I would say that their hearts just still recognize 
There's no way Jesus can be God. Jesus was born. According to the Bible, according to Christianity, Jesus died. Jesus worshipped God. Jesus became hungry. Jesus became tired. They say, well, he was fully man and fully God. But we know this makes no sense. This is Greek philosophy. Yeah. yeah. This but same thing like the uh, Bible is a book of stories anyway, it's a book of stories. How do you know everything is accurate there? I, I don't believe it is. Well, but that's why we have some, the Quran. Some points, some points, they yeah. add something. Yes, but yes. But as I said to you, it's all about each person, how they want to live their life. Their of choice. course. Of, yeah, we have free choice. Exactly. And, that, and we will be held, we'll be held account of it. Yeah. In yeah. Uh, India, for example, in certain areas, there are people who are born Christian, Hindu and Muslim as well. They have three religions because of their families. Yes, 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 yes. So it's but we have to study. We have to study. Yeah. Two things you have. We have subjectiveness and we have objectiveness. Collectively, we have to follow the objective truth. Because you can have your belief, I can have my belief, but it doesn't mean it's true. I can just say, I believe in Kushner as God, but is it true? No. So wherever the truth lies, whether you're a Christian or Muslim, we have to follow this. Now, we don't have the capacity to work out who is God. We don't have it. The only way we can understand God is God must explain to us who he is and who he's not. The only way he's going to do that, his creation, he has to look upon his creation, who are the best that he can use to guide man and give them a revelation. This revelation is asked for our salvation because whether you're Christian, Muslim or Jew, we're going to be judged. Now this judge, he has to be merciful. He has to give you all the tools that you can use your faculties to come to the truth because you have to separate the truth from falsehood. So what I understand with Christianity, you have to believe in faith or not rationale. And human beings, we're not, we're rational. We're different from the animals. Where do we do have the saying of destiny, it's the destiny. <coughs> yes, so if God is going to give us information, it's like a phone. The person who designed the phone, he gives you the manual how to use it. So God is going to give you a book. Now, when he gives us this book, we must not say, oh, it's from God and just follow it. We have to find out. Correct. Did it say Correct. it comes from God? Correct. So, the brother now will finish. No, Bismillah, carry on, carry on. <laughs> no, no, yeah, you, you got your point, it's true. That's why people sometimes have so, meetings and they discuss the Bible, so, discuss the Quran. Yeah. Well, no, you cannot, because it's, it's not fair, because you have apples and oranges. You have to take the Bible for what it is. You look at the Bible, first thing, as a human being. Does it have contradiction? Is it consistent or inconsistent? Because anything from God cannot be inconsistent and corrupt. Anyway, did the Bible claim it's from God? Did any of the authors say it is from me? If you go now to the Quran, the Quran states that it is from God. And if this was not from God, then you would find many inconsistency consistency and co contradiction. So it offers you a challenge. One of the most beautiful verse that I like, it talks to even atheists. And it asks you this question. Did you come from nothing or did you create yourself? So it's asking you now to think. You might think, oh, I don't know. But the Quran is asking you, go and seek the knowledge. Exactly, but the Christian must say, don't seek the knowledge. No, ah, but that's not good. You have children. Where are you from, sister? Me, I'm, uh, I don't have children. No, okay. I'm the European. Okay, but if you have your mother, if she loves you, is she going to tell you don't seek knowledge or go and seek knowledge? This is a good point you're saying, of course, okay. if you turn to Christianity like this, they no, don't No, forget like about challenge. Christianity. No, but it's true. That's no, how you Christianity think. is just a label. Forget about Christianity. But I'm talking about your parents because what is the objective of knowledge? The objective of knowledge is, correct, to, yeah. is to take you out of ignorance. If you are ignorant, then you can be you can be like sheep. You understand, I sister? I get what you're saying, but, but that's listen, the point. I know you're going to have to I know, rush. but that's the point you are saying now because yeah. many times religion was used to control people, and especially in the communist times, it was a way to control. This one you got it very well, but again, now it's up to each individual because you say like the Jews no, no. say. It's not up to individual because that is subjective. So this is where now Islam comes in because Islam is not a religion. It's not a religion. Reli Islam tells you the first thing when you get up in the morning to worship your God. How to worship your God? You have to purify yourself, you have to clean, you have to wash, you have to submit. 
how to deal with your wife, how to deal with your husband, how to deal with your children, how to deal with your finance, how to deal with your food, but not as an individual, what is best for the society? I'll leave you with that to just think about it. Assalamualaikum. How you bro? Everyone good? MashaAllah. I'm not good. I'm only humble. Yes, that's a good thing. Thank you. Okay, sister. I'm going to leave it on.